Next, you will need to get out your watercolors to fill in the negative space of your paper, which is all the white space left. So, if you do not have your watercolors, you can use your colored pencils, crayons, or colored markers, but try to do it lighter than the color of your lines so they are still visible. We see that my paint did not cover my lines, and that is called resist. So you're going to want to change the color up a bit. Remember that the less water you use, the brighter and darker your watercolor will get. And we see that I made a little mistake and you can always go back and fix it. It is not a mistake. It's a happy accident and that is okay. Make sure you fill in all the negative space and Remember that if you want to switch colors, for example, one from blue to yellow, you want to wash your brush in your cup so it's ready and clean for the next color. Also, you see that the green that I just did is too light. So I went back, added less water, and now it is way darker. Isn't that awesome? Remember that this is an abstract artwork, so it's going to look completely different from mine. And when you are painting make sure that you let it dry